Hello and welcome back to Redwood Acres. Today we're going to be doing another lower mesh uh, communications video. Uh, the last video I did, we talked to this, this solar node, right, that you can get from Rack Wireless. This is, it's rocking the uh, Rack Wiz Block, and we'll tell a story about this here in a little bit. Uh, I do got to do some testing, but I think I screwed it up. Um, good job, Jake. Uh, <laughs> but hey, we share our successes and our failures here as we continue down any of the paths we go on here in Ravenwood Acres, because uh, we're not about just showing you only our wins. We're about showing mistakes, not paying attention to detail, and messing things up. Um, so, the I was waiting for, so you can, you have two basic options for buying rack wireless uh, equipment, right? They're, they're whiz block series of things. If that's what you're looking for, of course, they, they sell a lot of other stuff, but <clears throat> the, this enclosure I got off of, uh, Rockland, which there'll be a link below as always. And, uh, so you can check that out if you're interested. Why I sold Rockland so hard on the last video is because they ship from the U S so all shipping is from their U.S. location in Florida. And so you're going to get it in a reasonable amount of time. This stuff, I don't know the lead time exactly, but it was about, I think, three, almost four weeks. Because Rack Wireless is a Chinese-based company and this stuff comes from China. Um, or I have to assume it did because uh, it took so long. <laughs> it took forever. But what I had mentioned in the last video is you can buy all these accessory for mounting this block and these are the ones it doesn't come with like the the magnets you're going to put in there but of course it comes with and this is the uh unified enclosure it, it just says part number yeah it doesn't really tell you but it's uh, link below of course that'll help you out if you're, you're looking for that one the stainless steel mounting hardware and two 3m double-sided uh adhesive um it's for in here to get so that i measured that out about a 20 millimeter um rare earth magnet would work perfect uh I, you can get like a 20 pack on amazon for like 20 bucks so that's a dollar of uh, a magnet i don't obviously i only need two so i'm going to try to find my local hardware store save myself time and uh, you know an unnecessary purchase of i don't need 20 so um and then i bought another uh, well, they had the, the GPS module in stock on, on Rack's website. They did not have it in stock on Rockland. And then a WizBlock uh, starter kit uh, because we're going to be building more nodes, as mentioned in previous videos. This is the, I know it's deceptive because it's, it has antennas on it. It's not antennas. This is their mounting kit for the same setup. And get this they all everything comes even if it's not electronic because in those these nice anti-static bags um which is obviously important for the electronic components but obviously plastic doesn't really matter but so this is so you can mount this or i think you can go this way too no it's one way so it's got an oblong slot and then a, just a round slot and then so you can mount that down with the stainless hardware and now you use these nice stainless hose clamps or pipe clamps in this case, and it's gonna go around, it'll easily fit around a two inch uh, pipe, which is uh, kind of the some of the standard in this market. And then once again, it all comes with the mounting hardware. So that's pretty cool. I got all that ready to be able to deploy this in multiple different environments for testing purposes. If you're like, wait, I don't know what this is and I wanna know more, link here in the right hand corner for the video on that device so check that out all right so to wrap up real quick here um all right as we have been exploring this for over two years well about two years now uh but really heavy over the last few months um because i wanted to be able to share with you because i feel like this tool for communicating um is underutilized yeah, and I, I want to get the word out there. I want to get more people involved. So the next video in this in my mesh communications playlist will be 
on just the basics, getting set up, right? Um, what now that I've been playing around with this for long enough, I feel like I've, I've formed a, a decent understanding enough to be able to guide you through uh, some of the lessons I've learned and get you started even if you're not tech savvy at all. And in fact, it will be geared toward the non-tech savvy to remove those barriers to allow people to get started with this and move on. Um, FYI, I, and I kind of knew this was possible, but I didn't fully understand it until recently. You can connect these things to Wi-Fi and connect to worldwide nodes. Yes, I understand that's no longer off grid uh, as we advertise with th these devices because they will operate off grid. However, pretty cool, right? Uh, so I will be exploring that in the near future and sharing, of course, my things on that. Last, hey, by the way, you know what the three Bs are? Bourbon, bacon, and brew. Those are uh, definitely necessities for survival. Thanks, Tim. All right, if you've watched this long and appreciate our content, please subscribe to the channel. Check out our other playlists linked here in the video. And if you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Check out our social media links and our website, theravenwoodacres.com. And always, have a great day.